Und die Schuld ist an uns. So let's open <coughs> seven let's open this a little bit. Hello. Are you open the solution? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, as discussed on the day, PNPJS is a set of library which which uh, helps to uh, do SharePoint operations uh, very easily. Okay. So, for that, uh, to use to start using the pnpjs first we need to install this pnpjs in our solution okay so for the first uh, we need to execute npm install pnpsp okay don't add pnp graph okay we do, we are not uh, executing graph later on we execute only pspsp It is on you add you run it from the node. Oh, see, I don't know.
Let's go to start. Complete. Okay. So first, and to start using it, uh, as usual, we need to import uh, the library in our solution. So uh, uh, this import, import SPF, SPF. Let me command this, we'll execute through PNP. Sorry, this one. <laughs> yeah, I'm having a wrong place. I command this line also. It is imported. Then we need to declare this a variable SP. So from here only we are getting the context. Okay. Uh, this is the syntax to get the context. SPFI using of, and we need to pass the context. dot props dot context right for us so we pass here this is dot props dot http client We don't have context. So here we don't have context. So we'll need to pass the context from this webper.es file. So I'm going to customer detail dot web customer detail webper.es. So I'll add one more variable here on text this dot context okay add comma In the customer details we need to add I customer details properties context the part context so Here it is resolved now. So I done two changes in the web customer details report at ES. Uh, under this render method, I'm passing this context variable. So context equal this start context. Once it is passed, uh, so first we need to declare that variable. For declaration, I am doing it in the customer details props. This interface I am adding that. Okay. 
context web pod context okay I'll, I'll save these two changes Once it is done, I will go to customer details.tsx. So now we don't see the error message start to abstract context, so it will work. If we go here, you will get all the information like how we can get. First, we got the constant SP, SPFIF, what was the variable? Okay, so after to do other list operations, we need to import this PNP SP webs list items, those things. So, I'm I'll ping you this thing for the reference. In the left hand side, you can see all other functionalities as well. List this item navigation permission so what are the operations we can do through pnpjs or uh, everything they have given here okay you can do all these operations so first we need to import these three lines Added it. Constant items of that's it. Uh, constant items of await sp dot web dot list get by title and what is the list name we need to pass here our list name is from props we are getting so I am passing that as it is and printing that in console okay let's save and execute and see how it turns Yes, so we didn't get the output. We'll see the console how it comes. You can see that I put the breakpoint here. Refresh the page.
okay first declaring that sp function 10 items take some time so i'll give you breakpoint here and execute it control dot class items if you can see all the result in items variable All three data came right. <coughs> Account number, age, everything. So, can see in one line, we were able to do all these things. Okay. This is a um, simple example of using list item and page items. And this change token and all they will be using. And filter also look up fill same way. Look up title, expand look up ID. So whichever using metadata field. So add item also simple one line. I would sp that web dot list get by title items that add they have given title and description. Uh, same thing for update as well. Uh, get by title dot get by ID. That ID will be given instead of items. Then dot update. Then you will. They might have given. We'll see. So this is to update user field. User ID they are passing. Lookup field, lookup ID, they will be passing multiple IDs, update items, you can see, see, get by ID, update of, instead of add, we are using update. Then inside here, what are the fields available, those fields and its value we need to pass, that's it. delete get by id delete of okay, you go through all these things like for lists and all what are the operations available list dot select adding um, and creating new list await list result dot list dot select that's it so and permissions related operations role assignments so it is a very simple if you start using pnp js okay if you start using it first we will start searching in pnp js like if you are getting some requirements if you, know, you are you need to do some actions through power power um, spfx means first we will check uh, whether it is possible through pnp js okay then only you will if it is not available you will check in rest api or some other alternate option how we can do okay so uh, most of the operations they will be available like even uh, last week i have done like uh, creating document set using pnpjs okay so creating document set there is no direct option okay what they have done they have created folder and uh, converted folder into uh, full, uh, they have updated the uh, content type of that folder into document set content type create document set emp base Um, this is the one follow uh, created folder await library uh, they took the library sp.web.list. dot get by title the documents library they took and uh, content type they gave mention okay first they created the library await library dot root folder dot 
wherever we need to create add subfolder using path and that folder folder name new folder name we are passing here once it is done <coughs> then we are the update the content type by id okay by default it will be having folder uh, folder content type id we are changing that folder content type id into uh, either uh, default document set content type id or if we create some custom document set content type we will be giving that custom document set content type id here so then it will automatically will be converted into document set content type after converting whatever the operation we need to do if we need to update multiple list, multiple columns or whatever operation like breaking permission everything we can do after these things okay this is the one i done last week you this reference as well you check and let me know if you have any doubt means it add taxonomy Point online PNPJ SPFX. Point online form. Let me pick that. Yes, this is the one. So this is uh, like uh, say for example, if you are uh, like uh, designing a form or uh, something, you are uh, there is a search page. In that search page, you need to give some fields. In that one field is taxonomy field, and from the taxonomy, you need to get the values. And people picker field from people picker field, you need to get values. Means. Those things and all we can easily achieve through uh, PNPJS. Okay, so you can see right at the uh, top. This will be the screenshot if you add the taxonomy field here. Okay, from here directly, whenever you type, it will fetch the data from that uh, particular term ID where we are giving. So, uh, we uh, it is something like uh, automatically communicate with SharePoint and it, it, it will uh, retrieve the data for you. Okay, you, we don't need to do any operations like fetching the data and binding it with particular text field, and even after updating also like mapping the values. Nothing else we can do. It, it, it by default it will take care. Okay. So if we something if you want to add some taxonomy field in your uh, some custom any custom or very complex field you want to add then uh, you can do it easily using this PNPJS. Okay, you can see here uh, this is uh, taxonomy picker is the keyword. Using this we can add uh, taxonomy field in our form. Okay, we'll create one taxonomy field in our set point list. I will go to that. <coughs> right. 
and uh, site settings and scroll layout setting dot gspx temp store management site level terms so global terms as you know it will be available across all the site collection okay if we create a site collection level it will be available for only for this particular site collection okay i'll create a site collection level term set okay and here i'll give some names departments add terms like loan add um, customer service Deposits. Achar. Okay, let it be easy. You copy this unique identifier. So first, we will add the taxonomy field in our code. Okay. Taxonomy picker, I pick it. Uh, I'll add only this control and we'll see. First, we'll add this line, then it let it recommend it. Add this. I'm adding this taxonomy picker control in the render method. Below to the table, this not suggesting anything. Okay, so I'll add this line taxonomy picker and I pick the terms. This line I'll add it. Cannot find model SPFA controls they have taxonomy picker. Okay, if it is not available, we'll run this controls as well. npm install pnp spf controls react. Okay, helping you, you run this command as well. Let it install. I'll stop here. Install pnp spf control react. 
is remove save like that iphone iphone save alone and given <coughs> Yes, it got installed. <laughs> okay, I pick a uh, date in view, so I remove this. I pick a uh, terms. Okay. Uh, this is on change event uh, so here we are uh, like custom method 
this will be used so whenever there is any change in the taxonomy picture what we need to do that one we will be de defining here whether we'll be storing in the some state variable or we need to do some other operation that one we need to do in this particular method okay that uh, we can so basically declare um, Where it got added? No, not this one. Okay, let it be. Uh, then I'll remove this on change event. Okay, only one update. Term ID we need to change department instead of department. Whatever the ID we have given here, that is the set point list. This unique identifier name we copy it. the panel title department picker let it be i'll save it and i refer the page Okay, and also we need to run it. Taking more time, not sure why.
menos meses. Signo luz, el signo de mineral. Ahí. Yes, you can see the uh, taxonomy picture will change. We'll go in preview. We've given some HR and other HR in department. So it will be coming like this. This customer. This is, it will automatically take it. So there is one more property also. We've given like allow multiple selection. Whether this taxonomy field allowed to select multiple values or not. If it is given allow multiple values. Through, we can select multiple values like here. Load. Okay. Even in the right hand side, you will have this tag. From here, also, we can do select and select. Let's see. Yes, uh, so as I said, a very simple approach to add uh, any uh, like. Uh, like complex uh, fields like taxonomy or people picker field. We didn't do anything. We have installed the taxonomy picker related uh, controls. Once it is installed, added the taxonomy picker uh, control in the render method. Inside it, we have updated only this term set ID here. Okay. Uh, apart from that, everything else takes care. Okay, if we if so, we may need to do in this uh, so on change event. So, in the on change event, we will be binding the values, whatever we have selected, that values will bind it into particular uh, state or will do directly the operations. This is the only thing we are missing here. Apart from that, nothing else. Okay, even if you design your own form, this will be the exact things they will be doing it okay uh, if you go to if people be careful also something similar to this uh, cfx pmp So there we are seeing uh, taxonomy picker here, people picker. Uh, that's the only difference. Okay, title, group name, so tool tip, everything else are same. In user true. Okay, let's try to add here. You see. Thank 
So for people picker, what is the value we need to add? People picker in we need to import people picker. So come on from text and picker. I am adding one more thing people picker. Let's give a control J at library people picker. Okay, from we need to add one more uh, separate line. We can't add in the taxonomy picture. Okay, select an item, get people picker items. Okay, this one I'll remove it. Disabled false is required and not sure why it is throwing error. Does not exist on type. So it seems it is not exist. I'll resolve or I'll remove is required as well. Okay, save it and then I refresh the page. It is appeared. I'll go to preview. Can start typing here. So it is like a same like uh, temps uh, temp term management. It is getting all the values from the people picker field, uh, and it is giving the option to select. Okay. So same way here also we need we are missing that on change event. Okay. Whatever the values we are selecting are in home, we need to track it in the on change event. Then accordingly we will be performing the activities like adding, updating the item or doing some other activity whatever uh, as per business requirement we will do the operation okay. yes. <coughs> um, any doubt in this uh, no doubts i also have my questions sorry i didn't get you No doubts, I will also make these changes in my software. Yes, sir. Sure. So, you're doing now? Uh, I haven't started it. Okay, yeah, no problem. You do it from your end. Okay, so uh, there is another thing. I'll, I'll give you these two links as well. You know, yes. it out. Thank you.